All right, hello everyone and welcome back to another video in the survival world. I think this is episode 28. I'm not too sure. I do want to say really quick that if you're watching this on a full screen device like a iPhone 10 or something like that, please make sure to pinch your fingers on the screen so you can fill it in and get rid of the black bars because that's the only way I know of how to get rid of those black bars right now but we are over at the location for the potion place that i want to build so i think i did come up with the design it's just not the best but i'm not sure if i'm going to be changing it in the future i might be adding some things to it or i might be taking some things out i'm not sure but right now what i want to go for is for like a witch hut style because witches make potions so i just thought it would be kind of cool there's going to be a back entrance right here if you're wondering, this goes up six blocks and I'm adding upside down stairs on the second block, connecting all of them. And also, these are nine blocks apart, these and these are five blocks apart, and these are seven blocks apart. And then it repeats all around. Alright, so the entrance will be right here, and I'm going to have one ladder just going up to it. Pretty sure I have exactly enough spruce stairs to finish this, so let me see. There we go. Alright, so I think I'm going to finish this up off... No, not off camera. Uh, I think I'm going to finish this up in the time lapse because there is some background noise happening every once in a while. So I'll just remove the commentary and make a time lapse. Alright, so I think the background noise has finally stopped, but anyways, here I am placing this down, the brown terracotta. I don't think I have enough, but I can finish it once I trade for more terracotta. So it will be a bit small in the interior, but there is also going to be a basement, so I don't think I'll worry too much about that. Alright, so right here is where I want to do some math because I want to get the exact number of slabs because I don't want to waste any more wood. I don't know why I'm so weird. So I should need 41 slabs to complete the floor. Where's the wood? Oh. Right, I should be left with one extra slab, if I'm correct. And there we go, I'm left with one extra slab. Alright, so there's that, I think it's looking pretty good. I don't know if I should have chosen a different color for terracotta, but I mean, that's the, that's the only brown I had. Oh, and I still have to do another layer of brown, actually. Oops. Alright, well, here we are. I think I'm just gonna do the roof real quick. It's not really that entertaining, so I'm just gonna go ahead and... I guess make another time lapse, I'm sorry. But yeah, I'm just gonna make the roof. It's basically just dark oak wood. And yeah, let me just go ahead and do that.
All right, so I think it is finished now. I added, I filled in the roof. And I think I made it, yeah, I made it a bit taller than it was. So I'm going to need an extra layer of terracotta, but that's okay. I recently traded another 20 to the villager. It only got me, it only got this much, but it's fine. Anyways, this hole in the ground is going to go down, it's going to go down to a secret basement. Uh, I hope it's secret. I mean, yeah, I don't think you can see it from, okay, you can kind of see it, but, but it's fine. Um, so there's going to be a ladder, and I know it's going to be hard to keep it secret since it's in the middle of the whole building. But I think I'm going to add some carpet and the trap door, and then it's going to go down, and now I'm stuck. Anyways, yeah, it's going to go all the way down. Alright, so up here is where we're going to have some nether wart farms. Also, we're going to have one down there. But we're also going to have some potions, you know, like instant health or... Regeneration of viruses that just random stuff like that. But down here is where we're gonna have some bad potions. So we're going to have some like potions of instant arming or poison or yeah, it's just stuff like that. Dangerous potions. And I completely forgot that there was a pond down here. This was actually originally going to be a turtle beach, but it looked kind of awkward, so I just changed it and yeah, now I'm putting a potion place in here. I'm not sure how far down it's going to go, but I don't think it'll go that far. Eh, okay. Alright, well actually, I think I'm going to get to work on this, and hopefully it turns out well. Alright, so here it is. As you can tell, I got to work, and, and I carved out a lot. You can see where the pillars are going to go, and also we're not that far down. We're only at level 50. And also I decided to use Stark Oak for the pillars. And right here, I decided to use warped wood between the logs. I think it looks pretty good, and I honestly like it. So I'm going to go ahead and take down all these walls and put it in. Alright, so here we are. Uh, I made a little window right here, and I added some of these. Some nether warts. They look pretty good. But anyways, I did finish the basement, kind of. I mean, I still have to decorate it and stuff and put some cauldron some brewing stands but here it is as you can see i used uh oak for the yeah is this oak as you can see i used oak for the floor and spruce for the ceiling i wanted to use some new blocks but i didn't really think they went well and i also want to use chains in this place and if, if i used the dark blocks for the ceiling i don't think they would look too well i don't think the chains would look too well but as you can see there's just a hole in the wall right here with some water and this is actually, I want to make a sewer system, like just like Talus, but uh, I, I don't know, I just thought this would be kind of a cool idea. And right here I have a little nether wart farm. It's really hard for me to tell which nether warts are grown. Uh, yeah, I'm not too sure. Oh, I think this one's grown. Here I already added some barrels. And I'm going to add some signs to it, so I guess this is going to have... Nether warts, this is going to have other stuff like gunpowder and glowstone. And also, I think you can see it, there's some water dripping. I really like that. I hear skeletons, so they might be under me. This is not how big the sewer system is going to go. I think I'm going to make it bigger and go throughout the places and add some drain pipes to it. I really like Dallas's design, so that's where I got it from. And I just realized my skin isn't even loaded in. There we go, I have my skin now. Okay, anyways. Also, this cauldron is floating because I want to find a way to attach it to something. I tried iron bars, but they don't attach to it. But I wanted to try armor stance. I want to see how this looks. Uh, I'm not sure, actually. I kind of like that, but I don't... <laughs> I don't think I'm a big fan of the legs. But anyways, this is where I'm going to add like a potion of instant harming. Don't worry, I'm going to light up the caves under it afterwards. I am going to use the warped wood for something. I think I'm going to use it for decoration. I feel like there's a skeleton spawner under us. Anyways, there's that. I'll have some slabs to hold these barrels up. Yeah, I really like that. Gonna add some brewing stands here. 
Maybe some cauldrons right here. Yeah, let me go ahead and do that. I don't have any brewing stance and I forgot to bring some blaze rods, so actually I'll be right back. Oh, I forgot how many blaze rods I actually had. Also, I have a bunch of gas steers, phantom membranes, magma cream. I have a lot of good stuff to make some potions. Alright, I brought my blaze rods, but I completely forgot the cobblestone. I'll be right back again. Alright, here we are. I have two more brewing stands for this place, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to add three up here. I think I'll take out one of these cauldrons so I can have three upstairs, and I'll put that there. Alright, well, there we go. I added a lot of shelves to it. I think I'm going to add some... I'm definitely going to add some more barrels with some more ingredients in them. Uh, I'm not sure if that looks too good there. I don't, I don't want the lanterns to really be organized. I want them to look like more, more messy, I guess. Yeah, I just want them all over the place. I don't really want them to be organized. I think this looks better. Yeah, I really do like that. I might add some more. Ooh. I should probably make some more chains so I can hang a bit lower. But then I'm going to hit my head on it, so... That's yeah, fine. Alright, so I did a bit of work on the upstairs. And I also brought in some books. I think that would look pretty cool. I'll add some barrels next to them as well. But yeah, it makes it look like we're studying some potions. So we're trying to learn how to make them. Right here, I guess I'll add some trap doors. Not too sure how many I'll need. Okay, I definitely don't need eight. Actually, no, I might get eight. Uh, I think that looks pretty good. I'll scatter the brewing stands, one right here. Where are all these animals coming from? Alright, I'm really liking this place. It's coming along really well. I'm not sure what color carpet I should have to hide this, but I think I'm going to have it red. Just keep it casual, I guess. For now, I'll just throw all this in here, then I'll organize it later. Alright, I'm back, and I made some doors. Eh, they look a bit weird, but it's fine. I'll, I'll keep these. I kind of like the way they look. Brought the skin fire to make it look like it's heating up the... Whatever this is called. The cauldron. Yeah, actually that looks pretty good. Alright, I just remembered that I have some fire resistance potions. And I put some more in here. I put a instant health and a fire resistance. But let me go ahead and put these in the cauldron. Yeah, that's exactly, I had exactly enough to put in there. Anyways, like I said, I mean, we're going to be making some potions, so let's go ahead and do that. And I think I need some more ingredients. Oh, looks like it's ready. Uh, awkward, okay. Hopefully I'm doing this right. I actually do not know. I'm literally clueless. I don't know how to make this potion, but I think I just remember it. We got night vision. Oh, ah. Uh, we got one more thing. I'll be back once again. Yes, it worked. Oh, okay. Well, I'm back with the redstone, but yes, this works. I think redstone makes it more powerful, right? Wait, no. Makes it last longer. Okay, so redstone makes it last longer and glowstone makes it more powerful. There we go, eight minutes. Ah, oh, that's so good, okay. Perfect. Made some potions, now I'm invisible. Or, now I can become invisible. If you're wondering why I made the invisibility potions, it's actually because... Oh my god. Alright, he's dead. Anyways, I made these because I thought maybe I could sneak around so I can get to the nether fortress more easily. Because it's really hard with all the skeletons and gas just shooting at me. I also don't know if I'll have to take my armor off so I can sneak around to the fortress. 
I hope not because I'm still scared of dying in any other way. All right, so I have gone to creative and tested it out. And as you can see, I have all my armor off. So yeah, that means the that means that mobs can't see you even when you have armor on and you're invisible. So yeah, let me just drink this and hopefully this goes well. I am actually very scared, but I'm holding my totem of undying just in case. I hope they don't see me through this. All right, we are invisible. Also, when I was testing it out, I did hit a mob while I was invisible, and that caused them to know where I am. All right, hopefully this works. He doesn't see me. What if I look at them? Oh no. Uh oh. Oh, not good. Oh no. Oh, jeez. Oh. That almost cost me my life. I do not know how I survived that. Okay. So, there you go. I now know that if you look at Endermen, they, they know you're there. They will know you're there. Alright, well, you know what? I think I stayed here long enough. Oh, boy. Then I didn't know the potion wore off right after I died. Oh, my goodness. Thankfully, I had the totem, though, and I somehow survived. Okay. I probably should have been more smart and put my, and put my armor on, but I don't know why I didn't do that. Alright, so not everything went according to plan, but it's okay. I still came out alive. Very happy I didn't lose my 54 levels because I am planning on fixing my axe. I'm just going to use it a bit more. It's almost broken, but I'll just use it a bit more and then I'll repair it since I have 54 levels. Alright, well, I think that's going to be it for this video. I added the, cap I added the carpet as you can see. But anyways, uh, yeah, I think that's it now. I am definitely going to try and modify this place a bit in between episodes. I don't know. I guess I'll go to my test world and just see what I can add to it or take out of it. I don't know. I don't think it looks the best, but I can, I can modify it. I don't know when, though. What the heck? This guy's deals are horrible. I remember this used to be one emerald for three of these. See, he even agrees. By the way, I have been using my mending pickaxe to mine out the... Well, to mine out everything down there. Because I'm waiting so I can get some more netherite for my other pickaxe. And then I'll use that. But if I'm gonna do big projects and mine out a lot of stuff, then I'm probably gonna use the mending one. But anyways, once again, sorry. Um, yeah, that's the end of this video. Thank you everyone for watching. And please like the video if you enjoyed. And subscribe to help my channel grow, please. Bye.